Welcome to SAF Studios Insider. I'm your host, Mary Dawn, and we're broadcasting from beautiful Marina del Rey, California. My guest today is Ron Vidor, cinematographer who resides here in the Los Angeles area. Ron, when we hear the word cinematographer, most people think cameraman. You know, they don't realize there are a lot more dynamics to being a cinematographer. Give us a little insight on what exactly it takes to be a cinematographer. Well, actually, there's many ranges to the department of camera, which is uh, the cinematographer, director of photography is the top of the chain of a five-member camera department. So it really starts with the lower part, which is the first assist, well, the second assistant cameraman, or even the loader below him. He loads the magazine. Then comes the second assistant cameraman. He uh, takes the slates and helps uh, facilitate the first assistant cameraman. The first assistant cameraman has a dynamic job. I think it's the toughest job in the business. He does the, he guesses the focus all the time on the run. He does the stop changes, the zooming, the threading of the camera or the maintaining of the camera, all the settings and everything. Then there's the camera operator position. There's the framing and aiming and making the story fit to the camera while the director of photography above him is the head of the, the chain of camera department. He oversees all of those other ranges below him. He does the lighting and he helps paint the director's picture. So there's many facets to the position of a cinematographer and then there are many specialties within cinematographer or camera operators such as uh, Steadicam, Underwater, uh, uh, Handheld, Aerial, uh, TV, Feature, Music Video, Commercial, there's many ranges in that division. Wow, so you can tell it's, it's more than just a one-person job then. Everybody helps each other, it's part of a five-man team, six-man team sometimes. That's great, and how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this since 1962 in in cinematography. Actually, in the union as a union member since 1962. Well, let me ask you. You mentioned the union. You know, there's a lot of controversy. Do I join a union? Do I not join a union? Can I work if I don't belong? What, as far as being a cinematographer, what are the advantages, or what's what's how do you work with that? Well, actually, in the earlier days, you couldn't work very much in camera unless you were in the unions and it was controlled by the studios and everything and as uh, time progressed uh, there was more of an assortment of non-union and union but actually with camera camera department itself you can be union or non-union I have just as much uh, ability and fun working non-union as well as union but the nice thing about uh, camera and union the camera guild does not mind if you work non-union. You can work union or non-union without any penalty. Whereas some of the other unions in the craft sort it out and say, you can't work non-union. You have to either just work union or be non-union. So uh, where, where my job comes in, it doesn't matter. Uh, well, that's I good. That's good that you have the flexibility to be able to, to work either way. Um, also, I understand that you've come up with quite an invention called the V-Door Steadyway, and that's to help cinematography make life a little easier for you. Tell us about it. Yes, yes, I have. Uh, being that I'm a, a Steadicam Pro X for one of the original three in Hollywood, I've uh, tried to make a way to uh, make that Steadicam even work better in the field for running shots, moving shots, upper uneven ground. So I've developed sort of like a Steadicam rig shot, if you will, a uh, hybrid dolly or doorway dolly that adapts to Steadicam. It can go over any uneven ground, through mud, through sand, switchable wheels for mud or sand or hard surfaces. It can go flying over curbs, over bumps, cables, 
if you use it in conjunction with the Steadicam on board, you don't see any uh, bumps and you don't have to worry about levels of ground. You can go without track. Uh, you can go on the fly anywhere without uh, breaking up a scene seamlessly and get uh, glass smooth shots and close-ups and wide shots. You can also uh, go all, all day without getting tired. Most of the cam people have to get tired after right. uh, a regular shot, take a rest. They have to take a rest. Uh, with this, you can go all day long. But this uh, contraption also works and doubles as a, many other things, like a doorway doll. You can put regular cameras and tripods on it. And with this uh, rig, you can either do 360s tied into the dolly or be vested with the steady cam and step on and step off and move into other shots at the beginning or at the end. So it's, it's quite a thing Gosh, that I'm very that excited wonderful. about. Well, I look forward in the future to help you, to help everybody. Uh, let me ask you one other question. Uh, as far as coming to San Antonio, what can you bring to San Antonio expertise-wise into SAF Studios? Well, actually, uh, I can bring a lot. Uh, I come from every uh, venue of, of camera. I'm one of the only camera people that specialize in every venue of the camera, such as underwater, steady cam, handheld, uh, A-list camera operator. I specialize in all of them, and I've worked with uh, many top-rate uh, directors and cinematographers. So a lot of osmosis. I, I've worked in every avenue of filming, such as documentary, commercial, feature, TV series, music videos, and commercials. So when it comes to, to myself, I can step in there and handle any job or govern any job or any situation in camera, any type of camera venue, and know how to use the proper tools to get it right, including the fact that I'm an A-list Steadicam person with my own 125,000 worth of steady cam rig, I can go in and make the shot follow where your director's eyes want to make it go. Ron, I understand you have hundreds and hundreds of credits in your back pocket there. Tell me some of your uh, iconic people you've worked with. Well, amazingly enough, uh, I have had a chance to have a lot of osmosis with some of the top people in the business. I, I go back to starting in 1962, working the original mm -hmm. Canon camera in black and white, and really? having a chance. Yes, uh, having a chance to work on some of the uh, most memorable pictures, such as Rocky Sting, Grease, Romance in the Stone, Against All Odds, Stand by Me. ER JAG. Uh, I even worked on the original Flight of the Phoenix, but uh, oh, that on was top an amazing of, movie. Okay, I even had a chance to work with some of the top directors like uh, Scorsese, Michael Ritchie. On Day of the Locust, I had a chance to work with John Schlesinger, with Steven Spielberg. Uh, I had a chance to work on five different projects with him, including his very original directing job. Worked on uh, Close Encounters. ER was his. Uh, worked on Jaws. I had a chance to be the underwater photography team on Jaws One. I'd say you've got quite a resume back <laughs> behind you. I, I'm looking forward to seeing you in San Antonio with that. I can bring it all to uh, the table in San Antonio. I'd love to be in a place where there's not so many uh, people crowding up freeways and uh, another <laughs> chance to get a breather. Uh, there's so many things I can bring to the table over there. Well, we look forward to it. And I thank you so much for being my guest today. Join me next time on SAF Studio Insider.